And now, your first alert five weather. Renee and I were just talking about how this is a rough stretch. You know, remember the beginning of last week was almost exactly like this, where it was kind of that rain to snow from Sunday into Monday. Tuesday was a lot better. This system has really drug its heels and dug its heels into the uh, into the ground here. 34 degrees. There's actually been a few flurries. Really hard to see them. Can you see those little dots against this darker truck? There's some flurries going on in Monument Hill, the Palmer Lake area. There's some drizzle blowing across Colorado Springs and some of the plains just around Pueblo. It's 36 degrees. It's a little warmer in Pueblo. I've noticed some of the drizzles a bit more up north, but tell you what, it feels like 38 with that light wind chill. Woodland Park, we're getting ready for some more snow and there's already even more dense fog, lower cloud cover coming in ahead of that snow for this afternoon. So let's take a walk through temperatures here. The warmest spot on the map is actually Slide and Swatch. A little farther west, probably grabbing a couple breaks of sunshine there. In our region, Canyon City is 45, Pueblo's 42. So the whole area is very chilly. Now, here's the deal. There's actually some sun outside on the back edge of the system. It's part of why the San Luis Valley up to Slide and Swatch is actually a little warmer. But we are just locked in under heavy cloud cover in a secondary passing of snow that's trying to move in a little closer to our area. So the snow's a lot better up by Bailey and Evergreen west of Denver, although, hey, might kick some out to Denver in a little bit here. This system, this snow will come on down the front range, move into Teller County, and I think that we'll see a little bit thicker snow develop up by Woodland Park, Monument Divide over the next few hours. See all that light green on the radar being moved in with southeast wind that is drizzle to just light rain condensing out over Colorado Springs. So what we do in the model models can't really pick up on drizzle very well, but we know it'll be kind of drizzly through the springs over the next few hours. But by two o'clock we should have probably just rain in Denver, but snow from Larkspur to Woodland Park and Monument. This continues through three to four o'clock. Notice only a stray shower or two actually kicks out south of El Paso County. Most of the moisture we're seeing is Teller and then central to northern El Paso County. We probably will get at least a little snow in Colorado Springs through the end of the day. But any accumulation is going to be 7,000 feet and up. And I do see a little rain and snow collecting from Walsenburg East tonight, but that is all done by 10 o'clock. What little snow we'll see is going to be, again, pretty far up north. We might get like an inch of snow in Monument, but the grass and the pavement is going to eat most of that. Might get one to two inches Woodland Park, and I think it'll snow heavier than it'll actually collect because it's some good looking flakes up north. So you know what? Big flakes, heavier snow coming on down, but not much of an accumulation because we're just too warm on the ground. That's May for you. We've got Thursday being beautiful at 70 degrees, so that'll be nice. I've got Temperatures a little bit more mild to start the weekend, but with heavier rain and cooler air from Sunday to Monday. So we may get like a third week in a row where it's a wetter start. However, it doesn't really look cold enough for snow. So rain, you can deal with rain. In Pueblo, we would be drier through the end of the week here, 70s and 80s on Friday. That'll do. We've got a chance of storms on Saturday, but Sunday and Monday are the better chances of rain. Canyon City, we would be in the 50s, 60s, close to 80s on Friday, Saturday, but I would say small rain chance Saturday. The better one is Sunday and Monday in Woodland Park. Get ready for uh, one to two inches of snow trying to blow on in over the next few hours, but then we are dry until we get to the weekend where we bring in more rain.